Next up in my first round series predictions and previews, we have a series that I'm personally pretty excited for, and that is the Carolina Hurricanes against the Washington Capitals. Because Carolina, it's an amazing story. I'm sure all of you guys saw the video of when they clinched the playoffs, all the fans cheering, hugging. It was really a good thing to see because this team has been bad for a long time, and they're a fun team to watch, so I'm pretty excited to see them going in the playoffs against the defending Stanley Cup champion, the Washington Capitals. And even though this is a one versus a wildcard match, matchup these teams weren't even that far off in terms of points in the regular season so i think it should be a pretty good series so let's get right into it like I said, looking at this matchup in terms of a wildcard team against a team that was first in the division, the Washington Capitals 48-26-8, 104 points, and the Carolina Hurricanes 46-29-7 and for 99 points. So there's only a 5-point difference between these two teams, so obviously they were both very good in the regular season, but it's not like this is a heavy favor towards the Washington Capitals, even though it kind of is just because, yes, they are the defending Stanley Cup champions, this Carolina team really has no experience together in in the playoffs and it's a lot of guys on that team first time you know making the playoffs and it's their superstars first time Sebastian Ajo who in my opinion is one of the more underrated superstar caliber players in the NHL he's had a phenomenal year and I don't think he gets enough credit for what's going on with the Carolina Hurricanes so looking at them Ajo led the way with 30 goals assist was Tavo Teravainen with 55 assists he had a fantastic year as well another guy that a lot of people aren't really talking about but he played a huge role in the regular season that they had and then obviously they were led in points by Sebastian Ajo with 83 points so one point over a point per game I'm happy to see him doing well and being you know a point per game player for a playoff team and now you look at the Washington Capitals letting goals by who else but Alexander Ovechkin 51 goals another 50 goal season this guy it seems like he's going to be scoring 50 goals until he is 40 years old and I certainly hope he does because I'd love to see him break the goal record and then assists his wingman Nicholas Backstrom with 52 assists and Ovechkin led the way in points with a total of 89 and Alexander Ovechkin had a phenomenal year following up on that Stanley Cup run that he had last year and you can tell it seems like he's just as hungry and he wants a taste of the Stanley Cup once again and I definitely think with the roster that the Capitals have brought back it's a lot of the key guys from last year minus the head coach obviously but still I definitely think they do have a legitimate shot at going back to back but there is that one team in the east that they would have to go through and that is the Tampa Bay Lightning but I don't even think they should look past the Carolina Hurricanes because they are a good team and this should be a very fun series. Now looking at the team stats, the Carolina Hurricanes scored 2.96 goals per game in the regular season. That was 16th in the NHL, so you know, around the middle of the pack. Not good, but not bad either. And they allowed 2.7 goals per game, which was 7th in the league, and that was kind of their bread and butter. They had a 17.8% power play percentage, which was in the bottom half of the league, but their penalty kill, 81.6, was in the top 10 at number 8. So obviously you can tell by just looking at these numbers, defense and goaltending has been the key for them in this final stretch and you know making their push into the postseason and I definitely think against an offensive heavy Washington Capitals the defense the goaltending are really going to have to come up huge Washington Capitals scored 3.34 goals per game in the regular season that was fifth in the NHL and when you have guys like Ovechkin and then have guys like Backstrom feeding him the puck you're going to score a lot of goals and they allow 3.02 goals against per game which was 17th in the NHL you know in the bottom half of the league and they have a power play percentage of 20.8 which is 12th which is pretty solid but only a penalty kill percentage of 78.9 for 24th in the NHL so obviously they did struggle to kill penalties but obviously you know Braden Holpe he's a whole nother monster in the playoffs and that could definitely help that penalty kill percentage in the postseason and now you look at the Carolina Hurricanes power play yes it is only 17.8 for 20th in the league but if they're going up against one of the worst penalty kills then definitely they could get their fair share of power play goals and I definitely think the special teams kind of favors the Washington Capitals strictly because I think the firepower that you can put on that power play says that they should be better you know than the 12th ranked power play in the regular season one thing that does concern me in this series for the Carolina Hurricanes is obviously the goaltending Peter Mrazek basically has no postseason experience and he's probably going to come in as the starter and then you look at the Washington Capitals where they have one of the best goalies in the league who had just won a Stanley Cup so in my opinion they are heavy underdogs even though the point differential in the regular season was only about five points but just the experience factor 
and the goaltending, I'm definitely going to give the edge to the Washington Capitals in that department. Who am I rooting for though? I'm kind of cheering for the Carolina Hurricanes. I love seeing underdogs do well. And since my favorite team is not in the postseason, you know, I'm going to have to find a bandwagon to hop on. And it might very well be the Carolina Hurricanes. So I certainly do hope they do well in this series against the Washington Capitals and give that home crowd something to cheer for. But in the end, my final prediction, I have the Washington Capitals winning this, but I have it taking them seven games. I think the Carolina Hurricanes are going to be a pesky team that's not going to shy away, and they're just going to give everything they got because really they have nothing to lose. There's no expectations on them. A lot of people think they're going to lose to the Washington Capitals, you know, fairly quickly. So for that reason, I think the Carolina Hurricanes are going to make this a very, very interesting series. But in the end, I have to go with the defending Stanley Cup champion, the Washington Capitals. I just can't really see them losing in the first round to a team that has just finally made the playoffs with the core group that they have it should be a very very fun series and i'm very curious to hear what you guys think but in the end i have the washington capitals winning it in seven games so that is going to wrap up the video i really hope you guys did enjoy and like i said make sure to let me know down in the comment section who do you guys think is going to win this series and in how many games and with that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily nhl content and i'll see you guys all in the next video